Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to create a widget for the employees resource. And I want to display here in, in when we have the employee list, I want to display all the, the count of employees we have in our database, the count of employees we have for the US country, and also the count of employees we have for the UK country. Uh, you can create a custom how many you want but i'm going to create only the three here if you go to the filament documentation and inside the resources we have these widgets here and here we can create a widget by running this command php artisan make filament widgets the name and the flag dash dash resource for the resource we have we need these widgets and after that we need uh, this command will create two files a class which is going to be inside this directory and a blade which is going to be in this one and we need to register our widgets inside the resource by creating this static function get widgets which return an array and here we'll, we are going to register the widgets and also display the widget on a resource page. So in this case, in my list page of count of uh, employees, we need to register a protected function get header widgets, which return an array. And here we register the widgets or custom widgets. Okay or get footer widgets but i think get what header widgets is more relevant now if you go here we can see in the dashboard we have more about widgets hide and show based on the if this user is admin and so on register a widget in the default when we go here to the dashboard and i'm going to do that but right now let's display in here first and also if you go in the dashboard here we have these stats and i'm going to create this one so php artisan make filament widgets the name and the flag dash dash stats dash overview and what this uh, this does is a widgets template so filament comes with the stats overview widget template which you can use to display a number of uh, different stats in a single widget so i'm going to create only one widget and display a different a number of uh, different stats in a single one okay without uh, writing a custom view so we call this card card make and it's going to create our view for us okay so let's copy this command go to the terminal and paste that in and uh, change this to be stats overview or i'm going to say employee stats overview hit enter give it a resource this is optional but let's say employee resource okay and here we have make sure to register the widget in the employee resource get widgets static method and then again in get header widgets or get footer widgets of any employee resource page okay so first let's register this inside the employee resource get widgets method so let's go in the app filament uh, employee resource and here after this get relation i'm going to create the get widgets so public static function get widgets and return in an array okay so let's return 
that array and here we need to register the employee stats overview class okay save this one close we need now to register also in the page and we need to create the get header widgets which is going to be a protected function so inside the employee resource we have pages here and inside the list employees i'm going to create that protected method protected function get what was the name get header widgets okay return in an array so let's return an array and here let's register that employee stats overview class save it right now if we go in here and refresh nothing happened because we don't add it the cards here inside the employee resource widgets we have this employee stats overview and we return the empty array so let's copy what we have here and paste it inside let's remove this one and if i save now go to the browser refresh yeah we have three cards okay now what i want to display here i want to display uh, the count of all employees we have in the database so let's say here all employees and instead of hard coded i want to import the employee model here and say all and get the count save and refresh and all employees we have two right now uh, here you can add also description a description icon you can add a color and so on okay so now here i want to display the count uh, of the employees we have from uk and another one for the us so first i'm going to get the country so the us country is going to come from the country where the country code is us and i'm going to say with count of the employees okay let's copy this duplicate change the us to uk where the country code is uk now and also with count of employees save and here i'm going to say dollar sign uk name Uh, employees so UK name country name is United Kingdom employees and here we need to display the count so I'm going to say dollar sign UK employees sorry employees count like this and let's do the same for the 
UK now for the US. So let's copy this and paste it down there. Instead of UK, we need to say US also here. US. Save this. Come here and go to employees. And United Kingdom employees, we need just to add like this. Refresh. Yeah. United Kingdom employees, one. United States employees, one. Now let's go and create one more for the United Kingdom. Uh, Manchester, Manchester, select Vue.js and say John Doe, give it the address, New York, zip code, birth date, date hired, and say create. No thanks, go to the employees. And as you can see, now we have two from for the United Kingdom and one for the United States. Okay, friends, now let's go and register this inside the dashboard here. We can do that. We can, if I go to the widgets and dashboard here we need the register in here but we need to get the configuration file so let's run this php artisan vendor publish in or okay and next let's open the config filament and here we can change the path, okay, domain, home URL, brand, auth, pages, resources. And here we have the widgets. And as we can see, we have two widgets, account widgets and filament info widgets. Let's also add the employee stats overview class save it go to the browser refresh and now we have all employees united kingdom employees and the united states employees okay friends that's it about this video i hope you understand and hope you like it and if you like don't forget subscribe to my channel and like the video and see you in the next one. All the best.